So in this video, I'll show you how you can increase the EFI partition size if you're having trouble with any Windows update or trying to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. Uh, this partition is, of course, we can change the size unless there's free space unallocated right next to it. It should be adjacent. Now, the problem is because this is a GPT disk, we have a 16 MB partition called the MSR partition that's created uh, automatically for any GPT disk. So, and you, you can resize this one, even if I were to create some free space here before it, this does not have a resize button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize my main partition. And I always check these, I need to move this partition to be able to open up the sliders before and after. And I'm gonna hit use a new mode to resize the fastest way and allow partition alignment. Now over here, just expand this one to have more detailed view of the space and drag a little bit of space here. And let's just give it some, let's say, 500 MB. It's not gonna be exactly 500 when you hit okay. So just give it a little bit more than what you need. We only need 100 MB, so we can fix that later. Now we have the unallocated space here. Now, what we're gonna do with this MSR partition is we want the files in there, the hidden files. So we're gonna hit clone partition, leave it as default, sector by sector, next. And don't choose the size before C, but the one after C, the one we created here. Because we're gonna need the size here before C to, for it to be adjacent with the EFI partition. Finish. So now this notice this partition is cloned right here. Now what we can do is we can delete this. And now we notice you have an allocated space directly near adjacent to the EFI partition. Now we can hit resize and change the size to 200. Of course, you can never get the figure exact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit 210. See, it ended up with a 202 size. Now, going back, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clone this one back. before the disk. And now you see, it's back to where it was. Now you can re, oh, you first let's delete these here, delete, and delete here, but that's unallocated. All right, so now we can hit resize again and drag the slider from here and from here, hit okay. There's a little bit more space. There we go. So now we have increased the EFI partition size without altering the MSR. And you can just hit apply. Of course, it's going to require a reboot. And that's it.